Hello everyone, uh, we're going to be looking at a problem now for a electronics and networks module. It's looking at Thethernim equivalent circuits uh, and this is a, a practice question or a mock exam question. Looking at a circuit with a resistor capacitor and inductor and a resist resistive load. Um, and there's four parts of the question, so I'll calculate the impedance of each of the elements, determine the equivalent circuit, calculate the VL, which is the load voltage, and find the steady state response of the load voltage. So if we look at question one, so the impedance, so impedance is our complex number and uh, it's written in this form and we're looking for it in ohms. So um, for the resistive element R, um, our impedance is 800 ohms. It's the real part of the complex number for impedance. Uh, and then we're assuming pure capacitance for C. So we're, we're going to input that into minus j 1 over omega c. Uh, omega is 2 pi f, f is frequency and if we look at uh, our source voltage we can see that our frequency is 500 hertz 2 pi um, so 2, pi, 2 times pi times 5000 hertz gives us an omega of 31,416 so if we input that we should get a uh, answer of 397.89 ohms uh, angle of minus 90 so let's have a look with our calculator press mode and we want to press 2 for complex get it into complex mode and then we're going to press shift and setup and make sure that it's in degrees so number three for degrees now we're ready um, so we can do minus one shift and then it's the i button is here i divided by and we can bracket it this and go three one four one six times eight t times 10 to the negative 9 and put another bracket in there and we should get our answer there minus 397.89 ohms and you can see it's complex number i we can press shift complex and then press 3 to get it into the polar form with a vector and an angle we see 397 angle minus 90. Um, just something else I wanted to show you with the calculator here. Um, we can use this button here to say that we're going to do a fraction. So we can do minus 1 uh, I there and then go underneath. And then we don't need the brackets for this. So it would be 314.16 times 80 times 10 to the negative 9 and we should get the same answer there we are um, so now if we look at L L is um, our inductor and that formula to change it from uh, millihenries to ohms is J omega L Sorry, with the capacitor we were changing it from nanofarads to uh, ohms so again if we look at this uh, clear that off so we're looking at three one four one six times 25 times 10 to the negative three and then if we put our complex part in that our I we can see that it's given us a fraction there uh, so if we just press our S to D button we can see that it's 
785.4 with our J notation for the uh, complex number in engineering uh, and we can we can also change that into the polar form as well which is 3785.4 angle 90 uh, and then our load resistor again is 400 ohms we don't need to do anything with that uh, that is the only real part um, so just a few notes on here your nano is 10 to the minus 9 your micro is 10 to the minus 6 and your milli is 10 to the minus 3 uh, and you may see minus j1 over omega c or you might see minus j over omega c it's the same um, when when you've got a term that's multiplied it, it basically can be put on the top or it can be taken out um, they, they will both give you the same answer so part two real meat of the question uh, we're looking for the Thethernoon uh, circuit so the first um, the first part we're going to check take these three components and change them into one impedance and we do this by short circuiting the voltage source um, so we remove the load and we short circuit the voltage source uh, and then we evaluate the uh, p impedance across the terminals to find ZTH which is the Thevenham equivalent circuit from the diagram we can see that L is in series and R and C are in parallel so if we look at it from this way on, everything goes through L and then we have a parallel R and C that then return. Right, so if we look at R and C in parallel now then, uh, so we'll do that on our calculator. So I can use our fraction button again and go 800 on the top times, and it's going to be minus 397.89. I on the top and we're going to have 800 plus I've got plus minus I don't need both I can just put minus 397.89 I and then equals and we should end up with 158.65 and then the rest of it if we press our S to D button we can see them both together minus 318.98 so that's the answer for our that, that's the combined parallel resistance and capacitance uh, impedance then if we add um, our inductive impedance to that so we can take this answer if we want and we can just press plus 785.4 and we should end up with an answer of 158.65 is to D again plus 466.42 ohms and that's your J and your I, I and J and then if we went shift 2, 3 to get it into our polar form we should see that that is 492.66 is to D button again 71.21 ohms so that is our ZTH um, which you will find for our equivalent circuit now we need to find our voltage source so we we now put it to be open circuit to find the equivalent voltage so we're looking for VTH so to get this we're going to use the standard voltage divider formula V out which is going to be here is R2 over R1 plus I2 plus V in uh, times V in sorry um, so VTH equals our capacitor which is our uh, V uh, R2 if you like from this formula and then our capacitor plus our resistor because this is going to be the same as this there's no current flowing through here so this voltage is this voltage so we can pretty much ignore L in this uh, scenario so if we 
type that into our calculator we can do if we hit our fraction button again minus 397.89 and that is divided by minus 397.89 uh, plus our 800 we can take that out and then we can say that's times by our voltage which is 4 and it's at an angle so it's shift and then the angle sign minus 60 and if we press equals on that after it's thought about it for a bit we get minus 0.895 uh, minus 0.985 same as what we have here of course my SD we can see it all and it's also minus 1.48 volts I and then if we convert it to polar and then get it all so we can see it together we can see 1.78 uh, angle minus 123 0.56 degrees that's the volts so our equivalent circuit is as it can be seen here so if we now look at the third part of the question we're looking to find VL or the load voltage so we're going to work out the current so we can look use the Thethern equivalent voltage and impedance and add the load impedance to find the current um, so if we enter that into our calculator, we'll end up start off with our fraction button again, 1.78, angle minus 123.56, that is divided by 158.65, um, plus 466.42, and that is a complex number. Uh, plus 400 if we hit equals on that we should find our current is 2.344 times 10 to the minus 3 if we hit our s to d button and see it again minus 6.98 10 to the minus 4 i so that should uh, we'll put our j notation there so now um, we can work out our load voltage because we're just looking at um, our current through our load impedance so we can take we can take our answer there um, and then times it by 400 to get our answer so we can just hit times 400 we end up with 0.937 7 minus 0.28 I or we can look at the polar form that's there same as what we have here if we try entering all that into the calculator we'll need our brackets 2.3 oh, 4 4 times 10 to the negative 3 minus 6.98 all right we'll bracket that out 6.98 times 10 to the negative 4 missed that out and we're going to times that by 400 that gives us our 0.9377 minus 0.28 uh, j or i whichever one we're using if we go shift complex put it in polar form we should get this answer here 0.978 angle minus 63.4 uh, you need your brackets to um, put your current all in one and multiply it by the impedance otherwise it won't work for that one uh, and then finally question four find the steady state we are just inputting the answers from before our load voltage uh, and our angle 
from the load voltage and that is our, our steady state voltage. That up so you can see it. Thank you.